Hi, I'm Richard Rossi, and welcome to amysflashcards.com. Um, on the website there, I've taught chording, two sessions on chording, and now uh, we're going to deal with playing the melody, playing the lead. Chording, if you uh, have went through those other lessons, you know that's the rhythm that's strumming those chords. But what about playing the melody? There's a couple ways that you can play melody. The conventional, traditional way that's very fundamental I teach a course called Learn to Play uh, Guitar Overnight in California. Uh, I've taught it at uh, the Learning Annex in a college there, Los Angeles Valley College, and I also teach privately in Southern California. And I, I run into a lot of people that don't want to learn to read music. They just want to chord and sing and that sort of thing. But I try to really um, you know, urge and suggest that you learn to read music because it's a wonderful tool. And when you have a song that you want to learn to play, the ability to just go and get a piece of sheet music and uh, you know, look at that piece of sheet music and be able to pick out the melody from the music is a wonderful, wonderful skill to have. And it's not as hard to learn to read music as you think. It really isn't. What we're going to do is uh, start you on the first uh, string and the second string. And um, if you even practice one string a week in the first position, and by first position, that the first position means this upper part of the guitar so that when your first finger is on the first fret and your second finger is on the second fret if you're playing a note your third finger is on the third fret if you're playing a note so um, reading in the first position you only have six strings on the guitar so even working with one string a week and practicing that one string in a month and a half you know you're able to read all six strings so let's start with the first string and when we say the first string, we're typically referring to this higher string. Now, just a real quick thing that you may have heard from music before, if you've had, you know, music lessons or been in a choir or something. Um, there's, uh, on the music staff, we can put the music staff on the screen, you'll notice that there are five lines. And the, the way that some people remember the notes on those five lines, and you're not going to need to know all of this right now, but... There's an old saying, every good boy does fine, starting from the bottom line, E, and then the next line is G, good, the next line is B, boy, and the next line is D, does, and the top line is F. Um, and then the four spaces, uh, which we can put on the screen uh, between those five lines, spell the word face, and that's how we know the notes in the spaces, F-A-C-E. Now that top space, the E, is this note right here, your first string open. That's E. And um, I had a, uh, uh, a student in California who had a, a mental disability and he couldn't retain information. He was in a, um, a special ed school and, um, and a couple of the guitar teachers in town said, we, you know, we're gonna, we have a student we want you to teach. We're frustrated. We can't teach this kid. He's, they said he's uh, mentally retarded. He's handicapped and he won't remember anything. And so, Mark, I taught him the E, F, G, those first three notes, E, F, G. And uh, a couple, the next week, he couldn't remember anything except the E. And so we work on the E, F, and G again, but the only thing that seemed to stick with him was E. And so I asked him, I said, Mark, um, why do you want to learn guitar? And he said, well, I was itch watching MTV, and I want to be on MTV and play guitar. And he said, and uh, I noticed all the girls seem to like the guys that play guitar, and so I thought if I could play guitar on MTV, some of the girls would, would like me. And so I said, Mark, why don't you write a song, your own song, with, with what you remember on the guitar. And lo and behold, he came back the next week and he wrote a song. Even though all he knew was this E note, he wrote a song. And he was real shy and he used to bite his lip like that. But I'll never forget, he came in and he said, Mark plays E on MTV. Mark plays, and I said, you did it, you wrote a song with just the E, and my kids absolutely love this guy, Mark, and I like, love the stories they tell about Mark when he comes in for his lessons, so Mark wrote a song with just the E note, so if you can read that top space E with me, that first string, that's the E, you're already reading music, we're going to just do the first string right now, 
Now, that top space, remember, every good boy does fine. That top, not the top space is E, but that every good boy does fine. Fine is your F. That's your first finger, first fret. And we could put up a picture of that, the first finger on the first fret. That's F. And there's a drill that you can practice, you know, after you're done with your uh, listening to this lesson, you can drill yourself on these notes that we'll be learning. Now, G is actually above the staff. So, um, notes can go higher than the staff and below the staff and G is actually just above. Now E and G are pretty similar so watch that you don't get tripped up on that because the E's in the top space and G's just above it but G is third finger third fret. So again here's E, E open, no fingers and then first finger first fret F and then G. So I'm going to put up um, a little exercise here and uh, I have it on a handout that I give out in my class that I teach but we'll put it on the uh, screen for you and let's play it all together if you notice on the first line it's four E's and then another four E's in the next measure so let's count we'll count to four and we'll tap our foot and count one two three four and it's one two three four and E for another measure F for two measures one two three four one two three four and then g for two measures one two three four one two three four now the next measure is e e f f one two three four and then g g e do you see that g g e so if you hit some bad notes, you're okay because we're in the key of C. And in the key of C, any note works. So even if you missed a note, it still kind of technically works. So uh, Miles Davis, the great musician, said there's no mistake. So if you, you probably, if it's your first time doing that, you probably made a mistake or didn't get them all right, but that's okay. Now, the next two lines playing with E, F, and G, let's try those two lines. We notice now this is three beats a measure. So we have E, two three, F, two, three, G, two, three, then F for three. Next line, E, 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 F, 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 G, E, F, G, F, E. So here you are, you're reading music already, so you're ahead of both the Beatles and Bob Dylan, they don't read music. They uh, are great songwriters, but uh, they both say they don't actually read music. A lot of people don't read music. So you're actually reading some music if you're reading those three notes. Now, I suggest you work on the first string and really practice that for a while with the drill on amysflashcards.com. And when you really feel like you know E, F, and G, and you don't have to really wonder where they are or check, then we'll move on to the practicing the second string, but I'm going to show you the second string now. I have some handouts here, but we'll put them on the screen. Now, the second string in the first position, the, the reading style is the same in the sense that you have on E, you have E open, then first finger, first fret F, third finger, third fret G. On the second string, it's the same thing, open, first fret, third fret for B, C, D. So we have B open, and that's that third line, every good boy is your B. C, you remember the spaces, to read the spaces is F-A-C-E, that's C. First finger, first fret, C. Third finger, third fret is D. So I have two, uh, uh, some lines here to learn the B and the C and the D. Uh, let's try that. We have B for four beats, then C for four beats, then D for four beats, and B for four beats. So let's try B, two, three, four, C, one, two, three, four, Four. D, one, two, three, four, and then B for four, two, three. Our next measure is B, B, C, C. You see that? B, B. So work on some of these, uh, you know, drills that are on amysflashcards.com. And if you put those two strings together, you'd be amazed at the melody you can play already with just those first two strings. We're going to do Jingle Bells. 
And if you look at the jingle bells on the screen, you see the notes. You can say them out loud with me. E, 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 G, C, D, E, F, 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 E, 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 D, D, E, D, G. That's uh, the, the, the last two lines. E, E, E for jingle bells. Pretty simple, huh? E, E, E. E G C D E F F F F F E E E G G F D C C. So there's two strings. We're playing with just two strings. You're reading on two strings. You're a third of the way there because there's six strings if you uh, learn these notes. And we can play Jingle Bells in time for Christmas, depending on what time of year it is. So let's play it. I'm going to read Jingle Bells with you and we'll play it together. So that's a good start, and there's uh, books that you can keep going with reading, and uh, you know just keep building and building your reading. Um, you know, if you just wanted to go to a, a music book a store or a guitar store and say, "Hey, uh, give me a book on basic reading in the first position. I want to learn to read the notes on the guitar." Usually, the books, no matter who writes them, there's many different ones out there: Alfred's and Mel Bay and Hal Leonard. But they'll start exactly like we started. You'll learn the first string, then the second string, and you'll you'll go through learning to read all those strings. Um, and then you can keep going. Some of these books, like Mel Bay, have level one, level two, level three. And the next, you know, as you get into uh, more advanced reading, um, you know, uh, you there's the next thing you know, you're playing classical, you know, music and reading that. But it starts off with learning these basic notes in the first position. Now, another way to play lead is uh, tablature. And sometimes tablature for popular music is a nice kind of cheat. It's a, it's a, 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 a you know, like, for instance, learning to read music, it would take a while, uh, you, you know, reading the first position, second position, going up the neck. And it takes a while learning the traditional way, say, to be playing up here, reading on a very high place on the neck. So one way to get around that and play popular music is that um, there's a tablature system in which you can take a popular song and learn how to play it quicker than having to learn how to read the song on that level. Because tablature will tell you the uh, frets uh, that you're playing and on the strings that you're playing. For instance, let's say uh, my reading level, I'm just starting to learn to read. So let's say a lead to a song like, say, Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. Let's say the lead goes. <laughs> Tablature gives you the six lines of the strings of the guitar, not the five lines of the staff now, but it'll show you the six lines. And so we could put on the screen an example of Tablature, and it'll show you the fret of where you're at on the neck. So let's say I went. <laughs> That's my 15th fret counting all the way up this way. And I hit the 15th fret on the first string three times. And then I went to the 13th fret. So on a tablature, it would show on the first string, it would have the number 15 three times. And tablature will enable you to play something that might be much more advanced than your reading level allows you to learn. So if you're particularly into, you know, rock guitar or blues guitar or certain types of soloing where they're really up there and they're really going to town up there, one way you can start learning that stuff quicker is to use tablature. And you can uh, pick a song you like, for example, and you can Google the song title and then Google the, the word tab, T-A-B, or the word tablature, T-A-B-L-A-T-U-R-E, and... What will come up is six lines, which are your six strings, and then you'll see numbers, which are the frets that you're on. And you can learn how to play 
uh, by tablature, songs that are you know way above your reading level, you can instantly play them. The downside of that is people that don't learn to read music are a little bit limited because they can only play the songs that they know in their repertoire. So if you don't learn to read music, I know people that can play a lot of great songs by tablature, but they maybe only know those 20 songs. They can't pick up a piece of music and just read it. But tablature is a good, another good way to play lead. Um, and I don't know how we're doing on time, but um, uh, I think we're getting towards the end. So I think maybe the next session I'll get into improvising lead with a scale. There's a tremendous trick I can show you that will enable you to play lead to any song, and I'll show you that in the, in the next time. Um, so uh, you, the drills to help you learn these notes on the first and second string is uh, here on the website, amysflashcards.com. God bless you, and happy guitar playing. <laughs>